Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on the channel. This is Dino Crisis. I am so excited to be jumping into a brand new game on the channel uh, that we have not experienced before uh, because this one was actually the winner of a Patreon poll. So thank you so much to my big boss tier patrons for voting on the next game that I should play. I posed a question of uh, which PlayStation 1 game would you like to see? Uh, there was four options and this one uh, was the winner. Naturally, I would like to get to all of those games eventually, um, but seeing as this one took the top spot, uh, we will dedicate this playthrough uh, to those lovely patrons who voted, and Michael Elms especially, who is crying tears right now. Uh, this is for you. So let's play and enjoy Dino Crisis together. I am very excited because we've been playing through Resident Evil uh, on the channel, uh, which has been great, starting with the earlier titles and working our way up to recent releases. We haven't finished the Resident Evil series yet. That is still ongoing as we do have Resident Evil 3 Remake and the Revelations games mainly to, to get to, uh, as well as uh, maybe like some spin-off stuff and we'll see how we go. But we've been playing through that on the channel. If you guys are new here, feel free to check that one out. And subscribe if you like what you see but without further ado let's jump into Dino Crisis which uh, I can only really assume is Resident Evil with dinosaurs I assume that is probably the case it came out in uh, 1999 so around the time of uh, Resident Evil 3 uh, which is which is really interesting I know that there are many people who probably want Dino Crisis to be uh, remade or revived over the current Resident Evil boom uh, at the moment, but you know, we've got, there's a few games in the series that I can play. I guess there's two games on the PS1, and I think that there's a third game, I'm not sure on the platform specifically, um, but I do know that there are at least the first two Dino Crisis games on PS1. So we'll start it off with the first game and see how we go. Uh, very excited to check this one out. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. Uh, so I'll just check out the, I'll just check out our options. What are we looking at? What are we working with? Um, controls, uh, subscreen, circle, decide or attack, square, uh, sorry, X. Cancel dash, square, and triangle. Got ahead of myself there. And auto-targeting is already turned on. Sound. Background and sound effects. No voice volume, no subtitles. Uh, so I think, if anything, voice is probably going to be tied to sound effects. So I might just drop this down ever so slightly. Um, We'll see how we go for volume uh, over t over time. Obviously, it's a, it's always a work in progress because different games have different levels. Uh, but hopefully, we'll be pretty good. Uh, monitor tuning. Don't need to do that. Let's exit, and we'll start a new game, and we'll run it through an easy. Let's start Dino Crisis, guys. Jesus. Okay, that was a little bit of a screen. You have mail. The second report from Military Experiment Facility. Agent name, Tom. What you got for me, Tom? I have successfully infiltrated under the guise of a researcher as planned. I have encountered no information regarding top secret development of new type weapons. But I have discovered there is an unexpected individual at this facility. The man is Dr. Kirk, the leading authority of our nation's energy research. Dr. Kirk was alleged to have died in an accident during the course of an experiment three years ago. The reports were premature, and it appears that he is currently working as the head of a non-weapon project at this facility. The experiment is in the late stages of development. Regarding the staged accidental death, it appears that this country is somehow involved, recommending that necessary actions be taken immediately. Refer to the data on Dr. Kirk. On Dr. Kirk. Deceased Edward Kirk. Dr. Kirk proposes the ultimate source of clean energy. Government rejects financial support. Laboratory closes. Tragic disaster. Dr. Kirk deceased following an accident during an experiment. Operation 
operation instructions. Secure Dr. Kirk and repatriate him swiftly. All right. Always got to start with the helicopter. Oh yeah, no subtitles. All right, that's gonna be that's gonna be rough. Hopefully, the voices are crystal clear for you guys. Yeah, subtitles might have helped. It's very loud. And the voices are getting drowned out. Looks like we got some turbulence. Sorry I'm late. It's time. Let's move out. What about Cooper? Forget him. Time's up. Wait, wait! What about Cooper? Okay. Rest in peace to that guy. <laughs> like, it's too late. So I think, like, it was like nine minutes had passed, and one of them was late. This guy never found his way in. So I guess he got separated from the main group on the drop down. Which is very unfortunate. Because uh, if the name of the game is anything to go by, I have a feeling it's not going to end well for uh, good old Cooper. Nice snack. <laughs> nice. Cool. That's a threat. How do I kill it? Ah, oh, PlayStation 1 graphics though, right? My favorite. Okay, this is the first checkpoint. Playtime is officially over, kiddies. Something's wrong. The lights in the guardhouse are out. Um, maybe this has been a wild night of partying for the guards. <laughs> you know, a little song, a little dance. Stay here, Junior. Leave the guards to me. H hey, did you hear what he just called me? Forget about it. Just let Gail handle this. All right. It's clear. It's clear. All right. So that's Gail. Okay, let's do this. I'll infiltrate the facility and occupy the control room on the first floor. I should have access to all the security systems from there. I'll contact you as soon as I've cleared the room. Aye, aye. So I don't know his name. I'm already uh, not aware of his name. Because uh, I'm not good with names. If it's already been said, I've already forgotten it. <laughs> um, but... Gale is the other dude. All right, let me get a feel for... Okay, we're back in tank control land. I need to get a feel for these these controls. Uh, so I believe... There we go. Okay, I can do a, do a bit of a dash. Uh, Subscreen is... Okay, subscreen is the menu. Regina. Item. Uh, we have 17 bullets for the handgun. Uh, stops the bleeding, but will not recover your health. Will completely recover your health. Okay. So we've got a medium med pack. I'm assuming that's what the M is for. Medium. And uh, hemostat. Um, handgun. Uh, and there's the ammo list. We've got our map, which is great. Classic old school Resident Evil looking map. 
Mix. Mix screen. Okay, we can mix items together. And exit. Okay. Good to know. Um, ready the weapon with R1. Okay. L2 and L1 don't do anything. That's interesting. Not even a map shortcut. And R2 is a quick turn. Okay. Sounds good to me. Rick can handle the inside of the facility on his own. Okay, Jesus. Just having a look. Let me guess. This is some of your handiwork, right? Hmm. The brass is still warm. These guards were shooting at something very recently. So who were they fighting? This wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. Whatever they were shooting at came in through there, and ripped right through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean. But I still say you could have done this. <laughs> Very funny. We still need to figure out what happened here. Continue to sweep the area. Regina got jokes. Continue to sweep the area. Can I investigate it? has been ripped apart with great force. What are you doing, buddy? He is checking the ground. That's good. You continue to check the ground. Cool character designs. Watch room of the guards. It's dark and no one seems to be inside. Because um, old school Resident Evil outfits were pretty cool and interesting. Jill Valentine looks so cool. Like I love those old school looking shoulder pads on her. From, like, uh, Resident Evil 1. Um, these are some pretty cool outfits as well. Not too, like, over the top or anything. Uh, what is around here? Crate! No. Gate. You need the B1 backup generator room key to open this door. Okay. B1 generator room key. Can I go in here? I can! To material storage! Hello, material storage. Bags of cement are stacked here. It doesn't seem to be operational. Alright, we've got a forklift. Oh, we've got an item up there, and something there. Can I...? Oh, nice. We can move stuff. How do I... Will you take the resuscitation? Yes. You can return to life with your health fully restored. Dude, what? Oh, that's not bad at all. Effective when you have lost your life. You can actually, if you die, you can come back instead of going back to whenever you last saved. Hell yeah. I'm assuming it's going to work the same as Resident Evil because it's in that same time period where you had, you know, save points. I don't know if it's... It, I don't expect it to have, like, an ink ribbon scenario, but I'm curious as to how saving will work in this game, but resuscitation is a nice one, because I know that I'm already expecting sort of, like, that unforgiving, you know, there's no... Autosave is not a thing, so you need to really be on onto your saving game. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to lose a hell of a lot of progress. Every time I've played an older title, I have learnt that lesson the hard way sometimes. All right, so let's have a look. What's this guy? Is this our key that we need? The words backup generator area slash ground level carved into it. We got the BG area key. An old style cylinder key. Um, this is ground level though. Um, the one outside said we need B1 key. So I don't know if that is the right one. The, the loading screens are nice. They're like similar to Resident Evil, but much faster. By just having us open the door. I don't think... Yeah, you need the B1 backup generator room key. Unless I'm just reading things wrong, but let's have a look. May as well try. Cannot be used here. Okay. That's a nope. Cool. Just how I thought. Um, okay. Watch room of the guards. No, uh, that's back where we came. Is he going to allow me to go this way now? Oh, hang on. Oh, 
I should leave the inside to Rick. Oh, Rick is his name. Right. Yes. All right, let's commit that to memory. Rick, Gale, and Regina. That's our squad. Rest in peace, Cooper. We barely knew you, literally. Okay, it is this way. Rick here. I'm in. The place is deserted, though. I have a very bad feeling about this. How's the progress going with that security system? I don't know what's been going on here, but it looks like all the power in this facility has been cut. Same here. As long as that's the situation, there's not a lot I can do. Why don't you see if you can gain access to the backup generators on the ground level? I'm on it. What are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. By the way, I found a key. Hand it over. Let's head outside. Okay, buddy. Uh, the voice acting for Rick is probably his first voice acting gig. They're like, crap, we need someone to voice his character. Hey, Jerry, can you get in the booth? We need you to voice act. He's like, but I've never done it before. It's like, eh, it'd be fine. Uh, Regina's voice actor is pretty cool. And Gail's is alright too. Um, I guess we're going outside. The backyard. It is locked. Passageway to the backup generator. This is so cool. I always love like PlayStation 1 graphics and ambience and sound effects. It's it's there's just something cozy. There's just something cozy about a PlayStation 1 game. Even if it's one that I've never played before, because it all just has that same like personality almost. That same feel. Oh, this is oh, this is cool. Cool fixed per cool fixed perspective camera. This one's following us. Oh shit! <laughs> Hello. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. This guy's been eviscerated. Something tore his intestines straight out. Look at those tooth marks. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay, let's move on. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's move on. It had to be some sort of animal. Oh, nice. Another med pack. You can recover your health completely. Nice. So we're going to carry a maximum of two of these, which is interesting. The body appears to have been torn apart violently by sharp, blade-like projections. The state of the blood suggests the victim died recently. They may have been used as a source of backup power. They are empty. Something soothing about the waves, though, you know? I love how there's so many birds. I've heard eagles and owls <laughs> in the background on this island. We've got a diverse biome here. I'll stand guard here. You go inside and take a look around. Can I have a big gun like yours? Why do I have a... I just have the pistol. Alright, well, let's go inside. Let's go inside. The backup generator room 1F. So this, that guy died recently. Should I be worried? <laughs> a power distribution device that distributes electricity to various areas of the facility. Okay, nice. Before I interact with that, can I see this? Emergency backup power device reminder. Use the device to automatically set the batteries. Always remember to keep the batteries charged. Oh, there's a whole thing. There are three buttons. Which button will you press? Oh, I don't know what I'm getting myself into yet, so give me a second. What is this? There is a switch. Will you press it? Yes. I also don't know what I'm getting into. My... Yeah, all right, hold on. Maybe we'll do this first and see what happens. A battery charger. If I set the battery here, I can charge it. Okay. So I have to do some weird red, green, blue puzzle to get a battery. 
Uh, let's press the left one. What happens? Oh my god. Classic Resident Evil. But in Dino Crisis. Uh, hang on then. Maybe. Oh, do I have to line them up? Because what is that? Red, blue, green, and I guess, what is that? White? Like a cream color? All right. Red, blue, green, white. Now this. There is a switch. Will you press it? Yes. Nice. Can I have a battery, please? Oh, maybe I'm not getting a battery. Oh, so this is the power thing. There is no need to operate this anymore. The battery thing is separate. Okay. So if I find a battery, I can put it in one of these? A battery charger. Okay, why do I need a battery? Emergency, uh, emergency backup power. Use the device to automatically set the batteries. So... Oh, it begins. Gale? Gale? It begins. Oh, hang on, can I read these then? They blend into the wall very well. It appears to be a notice. Avoid using the batteries from the other floor and vice versa. Avoid using it. Okay. Why? Let's head back outside. Pushed it. Okay. Oh my god. Can I go run back inside? It's a goddamn dinosaur. <laughs> it's a goddamn. It's a goddamn dinosaur. Run. Quick turn. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. We we do have two health packs. This is good. Hopefully, I don't have to use resuscitation. Hopefully, I'm not that bad. But we'll see. All right. Now I'm prepared mentally. Maybe. Right, I can hear it moving. Uh, I can't adjust the camera. I have to just let this one go. I'm going to assume that the X button is also to confirm my shot. It has auto... I have auto-targeting, so... Who is it? Where is it? Okay. It's walking around somewhere. Can't examine that. What if I just... What if... Cannot see it at all. It sounds so close. Oh. Is that auto targeting? Yes. No! 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 Down! Down, boy! Oh! Did we get it? Oh my god. We got it. We just killed our first dinosaur. Holy crap. We did it. Uh, how can I see my health? How do we know? <laughs> my... Oh man. So... Right, we're gonna run out of bullets real quick, aren't we? <laughs> um... I don't know how to check our health. Maybe it's maybe it'll be the character portrait. 
that'll be like a different color. We got hit once, so I, I like to think that's okay. Um, can I reload? How do I reload? It's not necessary to use this now. Okay. Not sure how reloading works, but we just killed our first dinosaur. Minimal damage. I probably could have run away, but that's the problem. It's like, they're not like slow like zombies. They're actually dinosaurs. Oh. That's a different guy. I think that's the same body as before. Where's Gale at? Gale. Where are you? I killed the damn thing. And I had a pistol, so this guy should have no excuse. He's got a goddamn assault rifle. Rick didn't even have anything. Good news! I got the control system back online. What's the situation over there? It's Gale. I lost him. <laughs> so what's the bad news? Did you run into some guards? You're not gonna believe this. He was attacked by some kind of dinosaur. <laughs> now that's a good one. So, who was it? Honey? This isn't a joke, you idiot. We were just attacked by a big ass lizard. For real? What's going on over there? Uh, all right. Head over to the control room and we'll sort out this whole situation. Okay, buddy. We'll sort out this whole situation, because I'm Rick, and I'm an expert, and I don't take anything seriously. It's like, okay, buddy. Um, okay, my position, I'm there. We need to head that way. Okay, so maybe we'll, put, we'll we go through the door. We go through Rick's door now. We make our way around there. Okay, just double-check everything around here. What's this switch? No, that takes us right into this place. Great. Okay, so good. Good old, good old Gale's gone. Rick's not taking us seriously. We only have seven bullets left. So I'm kind of screwed. Maybe we could have just ran past the dinosaur. It didn't even give us any... Like, it's not going to give us any supplies because it's a goddamn dinosaur. <laughs> We're not gonna get bullets off of a off of a reptile, are we? Office entrance hall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spooky. Alright, alright. The door is locked from the other side. A notice is posted. Ten AM. Dr. Kirk's lecture. The future of the stabilizer. So Dr. Kirk is doing non-weapons related non-weapons related research here. There's a ventilation opening. I believe that I can reach it by climbing. Do you want to climb to the ventilation opening? Yes. Oh, we've got a cool little gadget. What? That's sick. I was wondering how we're gonna get up there. Dude, can we send this team to the to the Resident Evil mansion instead? They've got like Regina's got a good head on her shoulder. She got a goddamn zip zip cable thingy. Great. Alright, we're safe from dinosaurs in the vent, right? There's no way they can get up here. They don't have fucking zip cables. These devices seem to control the power distribution of this facility. Okay, nice. So I can drop down... Or I can drop down here. Okay. Uh, let me check the map, please. Choices. Uh, maybe I'll try. It. Look, why well, we can come back up again? So that's we got we got the cool cable thing. Management office hallway. Oh, nice. 
Wait. Is there a... Oh, nice! <laughs> Hell yes. Is it hurting the dinosaur though? Or is it just blocking, is it just knocking it back? Oh my god. I'm kind of hoping that it's doing damage. But I have no way of knowing. Come on, bud. Dude, this is wild. <laughs> Poor dinosaurs doesn't understand lasers. Alright, I don't think it might... I don't think it's going to kill it. It's just going to keep hitting it. Which is... which is funny for me. Which... Uh, so where are we? Okay. This music is actually very cool. Okay, so we can head back up if we want, or we can go down this way. Let's not unlock the laser gate, for obvious reasons. Ooh, is this where I was supposed to go then? Damn. It's like the Resident Evil Mansion, but a secret base. Alright, I think this might have been the way to go. Let me check the other vent then. Yes. Oh, cool, we can go back up. Awesome. Let's check our other option. I bet you that if we ran through the laser gate door thing, that we would take damage. But dinosaurs don't take damage from that, apparently. The control room hall. Okay. I'm used to pressing a different button for the map. Oh, cool. We're actually right outside where we need to go. Interesting. Alright, so I see, I see where we are. And that's the control room. Oh, which takes us across. I see. Okay. Uh, well, let's just continue on for our destination for now. Control room on the first floor. Oh, what's this? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, good. That's a good amount of ammo right there. You can store emerg you can store medical supplies in this emergency box. You need to you need a plug to open it. You do not have enough plugs. Okay, so because we have a maximum amount of items, health healing items that we can carry, we can store additional ones in emergency boxes, but we need a plug to open said box to then store medical item and then Obviously, we can come here for a medical item later on, if we want. Alright, that's going to open a gate. Let's try the door that we need to go into and see what's going on in the control room. Ah, oh, this is cool. What's our status? This, this security system is a snap for me. Real amateur stuff. So... So, what exactly happened to Gale? You said that he was attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I just hope he's still alive. Any anyway, our first priority is to complete the mission. Okay, so it's not the voice acting. It's just calling the chopper and get off this death trap. That's he's smart. That's a great idea. But Cooper has the radio, and he's missing. Slight voice acting glitch. Hey, what's with this monitor? That that's the security monitor for the underground area. The camera's offline. So So I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the area. Exactly. They must have that area wired to a different power system than the ground level. Well, we can investigate that area after we finished our sweep of the ground level. Okay. Then I'll take care of the shutters that are blocking the way. Clever. You work your way in, grab the dock, and then rendezvous back here. Smart. Okay, they're like, no need to check out this area. We'll check out this area first. There's a little bit of a voice glitch. I was wondering if that was intentional for his character at the beginning. This is the first time I've noticed it. Because he was going this, 
this blah 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 but no uh so that's a little like a little bit unfortunate but uh we'll push through we're still getting dialogue it's not unbearable just the characters have a little bit of a stutter anyway what's the deal with this place anyway <laughs> Okay, so this door is locked, apparently. An ID card is required to operate the elevator. Okay, so that's an elevator. It's a security control panel. Nothing is on the screen. The screen shows the ground area. So we've got our we've got our eyes and ears. It appears to be a fuse box. We've got our eyes and ears. Yeah. Rick. Now what I want to know is where those things are coming from. Oh, so you believe it now? Okay. You were joking around before. Okay, so... Rick just said he'd open up these shutters. Will you press the switch? Yes, nothing happened. Rick, you said you'd open the shutters! Okay. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe that's because that goes off into an area that we're not supposed to go into. Destination is not highlighted however so I guess I'll just go on to that ground floor area where we went before so I'll actually can I open this door where's this gonna take me management office oh sweet what's this Oh, a pump action shotgun by L. Franchi. You got the shotgun. So we can only equip one at a time, naturally. No ammo, though, so let me just put my handgun back on. Need to get some shotgun ammo. You got the DDK input disk H. Collect with code disk with the same mark and set both parts into the door. Cool. Code disks. I love, like, retro technology stuff. It's so cool. Something seems to be inside the cardboard box. Uh, this cardboard box? Yes. Oh! Used for red, green, and yellow boxes. Multiple plugs may be necessary. So I guess this is a plug for... This is what we were just talking about with those emergency medical boxes. Used to open the emergency boxes. Okay. It is used to unlock the corresponding DDK lock. Cool. So I could probably afford to put a med pack in there, but at the same time, I have to use a plug to do that. I, I'm assuming the plug... Oh, it's, it's a key, so I don't know if it's a one-time... Oh, it is a one-time use. It says one. Um, so it's more like you have to actually use one of those plugs, and then I'm assuming you need to use a plug again to open it, maybe? Um, so it's... I kind of don't want to do that, because I assume I'm going to get hit and I'm going to need to use my health anyway. Because I'm, I'm going to, I'm expecting to perform quite poorly at some point when I get attacked by a different dinosaur. The guard rotation schedule is posted here. Is this the DDK thing? A switch, will you press it? Nope. Oh, a switch all the way over here turns on the computer over here. I like how the camera works in this game, it's very nice, and then it like dynamically switches to a new perspective, even in, this, in the same room. On the screen is an email titled, New Employee Education. Will you read the email? Yes. Please inform the new employee assigned to this department about the DDK system as follows. The digital disk key, or DDK, is a system that secures our most important areas with advanced locking device. To release the locks protected by the DDK, prepare and set the following two data disks at the following locking device near the door. DDK code in uh, code disk and DDK input disk. The type of DDK you need is indicated on the door A, B, etc. If the DDK type you use does not match, you cannot release the lock. Before operating the system, make sure that the DDK type matches the door you wish to unlock. Okay. Okay, cool. It's in the room with blood. Ah! It's a guy! <laughs> oh, classic. Yeah, loud sound effect to communicate death. What you got for me, buddy? It's a corn chip. 
You got the panel key too. It appears to be a panel that can unlock an electronic lock. Leo. Okay. A metal and three symbols are carved into this panel. He has been gouged in the torso. I like the, the camera change there. It hasn't happened before, but that's cool. I like that. There is a panel here that accepts a numeric code. We enter a number. Uh... How many how many numbers is required though? It's clearly is it four numbers? It's four numbers. Okay. Nothing happened. Um it's clearly four one. Okay. It's it's definitely Damn it. Uh it's definitely Damn it. <laughs> Alright. Uh I will uh Get me out of this. Cancel. Uh, I'll have to find something with a numeric code. Personal property of guardsmen. Nothing useful. Okay. Well, if we find anything that has to do with uh, those with digits, will I save my progress up to this point? Uh, yes. What's the save point? Oh, we have continues. We have five continues left. Oh, it was an automatic option to save when we went through this door. Oh no, there's a dinosaur here. I took care of the shutter. You should be able to access the control panel now. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I see. That was quick. Thanks. Just get going. <laughs> uh, so we actually dropped down that. We dropped down that before. Interesting. Okay. We we dropped down. Okay, so this is a save room. Okay, so it's a it's a save point. Cute. And we got save music and everything. Okay, I now understand where we are. Ooh, this is this is a cool this is a cool this is a cool piece of music. We can Hmm. There's there's two doors on the left that require going through the dinosaur. We have saved our game, so I have a little bit of a room. I have a little bit of wiggle room to to mess around. Where's the save point? Is it just the door itself? Oh. The, so there isn't like a... There's no ink ribbons. There's no... Obviously there's not a lot of typewriter or something like that. But we just save our game at a doorway. Interesting. Okay. So we dropped down that this vent before. Can we sneak past it? Oh! Oh, it hit us. Because what I might be able to do... No, what? It can't come in here, right? Uh, I got the DDK code disk H. Collect with input disk uh, with the same mark and set both parts into the door. Sir, you can't come in here. Can he actually come in here? <gasps> oh! 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 It can tranquilize with a single shot, but the effects do not last long. Ah! Oh shit. My arm! Oh my god. All right. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's leave. Oh, we, we limp. Okay. Um... It's not communicated by my by my character portrait. I thought it would be. Well, I guess we'll uh, stops the bleeding, but we'll not recover your health. Let's use one of these. Oh, this one's okay. 
Oh, I'm still bleeding? Oh, Jesus. That scared the shit out of me. Go, go, go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> God, the music. That's incredible. All right. We got the other uh, input disc. We did have to use a health thing for that. We could have probably avoided that. This, when it, this is like when it just comes down to, do I use my bullets or do I use my health? Considering we picked up bullets, I think we probably could have just shot it. Because we're going to have to go back through that hallway later. We're definitely going to have to go back through that hallway later. Uh, but there's a shutter that's locked at the moment. We will push through with what we've got. So if I find another health pack, that's cool. Dart. Oh! The darts are for the shotgun. Okay. I was thinking maybe it would be ammo for the handgun. This makes the enemy sleep. So we can put dinosaurs to sleep, but not for long. So if we equip the shotgun... And equip that. Cool. So now if I... Cool. I can switch between them. And they'll have different things equipped. Great. Good stuff. Oh, it's just saving when you leave the room regardless. It's not that one specific door. It's just when you leave. That makes more sense. So if I do it this way, this is what I was thinking. Was we don't have to... We don't have to... Oh, we are st we're still bleeding. Hmm. I'm wondering if we're lo I'm wondering what that means. Uh, I've got I, either we are slowly taking damage, um, and we will eventually be like struggling again, or it is a way for like a dinosaur to like sniff us out or track us or something. I don't know if that's how that's gonna work. Those are my two thoughts about this, but it looks like we need to use the hemostat to stop the bleeding. But I don't know if there's negative consequences from letting it stay we'll see how we'll see how we go we will continue to bleed for a while because i don't want to yeah that's right bitch <laughs> that's why we didn't do the shutter thing i guess maybe we could have activate deactivated it and then maybe we're able to activate it again i just didn't want to take that risk because then maybe I'd be getting chased in here by a goddamn dinosaur right now. A military symbol. Let's leave. You need the entrance key to open this door. Ah, oh, well, I take the hemostat. It's almost as if... Ah, oh, prevents loss of health due to bleeding. We actually are losing... Okay, we'll use it straight away. We are losing health due to the bleeding. Okay. Confirmed. I don't know how much health that I lost, but I'm not limping, so hopefully I'll be okay. Will the, I take the an aid? Increases the potency of items with anesthetic properties. Oh. Oh, select the mix icon on the subscreen before use. Oh, that's cool. So, increases the potency. So if I mix this with my darts, this will put, this should put the dinosaurs asleep for longer. Cool. Um, we will look into that when I start using the, the, um, the shotgun for darts and then we can mix it together that's cool though um all right let me have a look at where we are okay that doorway is where we already came from so we just want to be going straight upstairs oh we can't run up the stairs normally it's res it's like a resident evil style game we have to it's a loading screen <laughs> stairs are a loading screen i forget about that can the dino? Oh, and another one. Can the dinosaurs come up the stairs? Oh, so that one says that says one out of one. 
Um, but we can have multiple. It's just a new line in the supplies. So maybe we have a limit of how much we can carry. I don't know. But that might mean that we don't actually have to worry about maxing out these items. It'll just start a new a new thing. So if we use the anesthetic aid, one of them, on these three darts, if we pick up another three, it'll be a separate line on the supplies list that won't have the additional potency, is what I'm gathering there. Second floor hole. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Stop that. Oh, okay, that's a bad camera angle. Oh, God, Jesus. Oh, yep, that's my arm. I'm trying to run. Okay, I'm trying to... Oh, we got it. Okay, I'm trying to, like... Jesus. Oh, and shotgun bullets. Cool. I'm trying to, like run and move around it without getting hit, but this is going to take some practice because I haven't gone up against these enemies before. Five shotgun bullets. Okay. Dude, just one of these goddamn things going to put me to put me in a coffin, that's for sure. Okay. Stop the bleeding. Might look into putting them into sleep then. So let's go into the mix panel. Let's mix a dart. Put an aid in there. Are you sure you want to mix them? Yes. Four dart L++ are made. It can tranquilize with a single shot and the effect lasts for a long time. Oh. Oh. Nice. We actually got, f instead of just three darts, we now have four. And they last longer. Sweet. Alright. Um, the mixing thing's really cool. It, there's essentially just the ability to combine, like in Resident Evil, but they've given it its own little menu, which is sweet. Uh, and that is now new ammo. Cool. Let's, let's have the shotgun on. Because if it tranquilizes in a single shot, that's going to be much better than the than the handgun. Um, again, I have no way to tell because there's not even a there's not even like a status. It's not a status screen or anything. So I don't know how much health I have. There's no caution, danger, fine or whatever. So that's a shame. A DDK device. Will you set the DDK? Yes, because we actually have both. Good. Oh. Nice. Code. And then the key. Please input the password. Um. Do I have to... Do I have to input the whole thing? Or do I input just one? Okay, well... How long is the character limit? Yeah, I'm try I'm trying- I'm going like, oh, QWERTY keyboard. Nope, it's a alphabetical order keyboard. That's terrible. A... G... T... I... Uh, enter? Nope. Alright, how does this work? Maybe just the bottom code? B, C, F, G, I? Okay. Do I just do the letters that have not been included in the key? So I would do H, E, A, D. Oh, yeah. Cool. So, there's the code, and then the key takes out the letters that you shouldn't use, and then you... Okay, cool. And then you just do the letters in between. Head. The DDK lock has been unlocked. 
Wow, how cool is this music? This is actually so, this is so sick. Let's go into the chief's room. As we're almost dying. A survivor. Oh. Are you... Are you from the rescue team? Uh, I... Yes, yes I am. Oh, I thought it was Kirk. Do you know where I can find Dr. Kirk? Kirk? That fool. What's he plotting now? What are you talking about? Here. Take this. What's this for? I, I don't know. You told me. Extremely vital. He's dead. You got the. Oh, we got another panel key. Dude, I'm already. Like, I'm playing this game already being like. Why. Has Capcom not been like, let's do a Dino Crisis remake similar to how Resident Evil 2 remake was was put together? Do you know how goddamn scary and terrifying that would be? That would be like insane. And then have like the have the dinosaurs act similar to how the Xenomorph works in Alien Isolation and have them running around like crazy with their heavy like stomping footprints and screeches and stuff and like just running around and grabbing you and stuff. There's an idea. That's an idea. So this can also unlock an electronic lock. Uh, SOL. Soul. He's dead. Will you take the shotgun bullets? Yes. Okay, so we've got even more shotgun bullets. We now have 10. That's good. Various miniatures are lined up here. They all seem to be weapons. So, I mean, I could be shooting them with the shotgun. Um, I might actually check... Disperse to hit a wider target area. So I don't know if how many shots it would take to kill um, with the shotgun, but one shot tranquilizing seems very attractive to me. I got the DDK input disc N. Collect with code disc with the same mark and set both parts into the door. Okay. Commemorative medal is displayed here. There are two slots under the frame where panel keys can be inserted. Oh. Okay. Oh! That's how you're gonna play this. That's how. Oh my god. Okay. Holy crap! All right, I need to heal myself. So this is how you have a boss battle with a giant dinosaur like a T-Rex. Normally you'd be screwed, but this in this circumstance it works. That's amazing. Eat my shotgun. from the dinosaur's perspective. Oh my god. <laughs> we made it. That was tense. Even if it was short, that was still tense. The stomping. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I was wait I was waiting for a quippy one-liner. It didn't happen. Um, okay, buddy. So, we just have there is just a roaming T-Rex. Just just chilling out. Just to mess with our day. Uh just so you just so you know. Just so you know. Uh that <laughs> that goddamn there's a goddamn T-Rex on the loose. That's great. We used four bullets. I don't even know if we needed to use that extra one at the end there. It uh seems like we might have been able to get away without it. Let's put the darts back on. Cause I don't think we're putting a T-Rex to sleep that easily. Jesus. Can I examine? No. All right, let's <laughs> let's leave. Let's go back out into the floor. Jesus. Okay, cool. 
the body of the dinosaur was gone. I was like, please don't tell me they respawn or some crap. Uh, what's this way? There's two other doors. This is the lounge, and then there's another one down the hallway. Oh! Okay, sleepy time. That was just a goddamn reflex. <laughs> Will I take the resuscitation? Ooh, another one. Cool. Returning to life with your health fully restored is great. Alright, we're in a gallery with a sleepy dinosaur. Let's hurry up. We're on a time limit here. Chemical manual. Uh, will I read the file? Yes. New product descriptions. Recovery aid. An aesthetic aid intensifier and multiplier. The four chemicals listed above feature our company's latest advancements. They are designed to perform exceptionally, particularly on the front lines where only the minimum amount of equipment is accessible. By mixing chemicals, the following two types of supplies can be created. Recovering type. It quickly recovers lost vitality. An aesthetic type. Applied to the head of a bullet or needle, uh, it can put the target to sleep. Supplies that are produced by chemical mixing can be made even more effective with additional mixing. Cool, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, well, it's definitely this. Okay, it's definitely this. Alright, well, it's, it's definitely this. It's definitely this. Alright, um... Great. So we've found two of these so far where we don't have codes. So that's kind of lame. I guess we could guess it, but I don't really want to do that. Okay, so we don't pick up the... F <gasps> that wasn't that long. Okay. Jesus. Um, so... We can't read that far for later, but that's fine. Uh, we also can come back there if we ever find a code. So we've got two locations with a code. Uh, we've got two of those key thingies. Um, we've got two panel keys. But these are different because they've got, like, three letters. It's like they need to go somewhere else. Oh no! That's the literally- I just met you! No! <laughs> Goodbye! Oh my god. Jesus. I just put you to sleep. Go to bed. Passageway to the communications area. One of these days I'll remember how to press the- Oh, this goes all the way to a dead end with a- Let's check it out anyway. It goes all the way to a dead end with a locked key. Been a, there could have been an item, so I wanted to sit. I wanted to check. Okay, so I mean, we can put a dinosaur to sleep long enough for us to walk around and run around quickly and experiment and explore a room, but it will wake up pretty quickly. All right, we're in a communications room. A memo from an antenna operating engineer. Will you read the memo? Yes. As a result of tonight's experiment, a strong magnetic storm may occur. Consequently, the communication department will close at 6 p.m. At that time, the antenna will be temporarily stored. To prepare for the emergency, be sure to check the weapon storage locker oh, in the lounge. Code? Yep. You can unlock it with the combination 8159. Recently inexperienced guards have been assigned here and a common problem is that they do not know how to use the DDK. Here are some points that may not be clear in the manual. <laughs> Make sure that your staff become familiar with this important information. After you've set the DDK to the door's locking device, you'll be asked to enter the password code. You will need to then derive the code by using the basic elimination rule. We did it backwards. <laughs> we've, we've literally just... Trial and error to went, wait, what if it's this way? Eliminate the key letters to reveal the correct code. Cool, we know how to do it, so that's okay. Uh, so I think you're supposed to get the information and do this first. Well, I mean, logically, if you don't figure it out like I did. There is a slot for the antenna activation key, so we now need to go to the lounge where we just were. 8159. We can shoot this dinosaur if needed. 
What's my what's my ammo situation? We've got 14 bullets or six shotgun bullets. It does it just doesn't seem like a lot to me. But then I've only got three darts left. What if we just book it? Can I do that? Can I just run? Oh, it's distracted. That's fine. Can I just run? Yes, we can. Ah! Nobody! I'm busy! I'm busy! No! You're gonna have to... You're gonna have to hold on. I'm doing a thing. I got the... Wait! What? This isn't the antenna key! This isn't the antenna key at all! No! I'm stuck on a doorway! No! I'm stuck on the goddamn cupboard! Shit! What the fuck? What do I do now? That wasn't the antenna key at all! Now what? Should I go back to the... Would that same code work on that other... Locked thing that we saw before? They said in the lounge. 8159. We got a handgun thing instead. How do we... I'm bleeding as well. God damn it. Hold on a minute. Ah. Handgun. Okay. Handgun custom. Cool. The 40 S and W bullets are usable. Okay. We have a custom handgun. That doesn't change the fact that I'm bleeding. With no way to stop my bleeding now and no way to heal. But I do have resuscitation, which is is uh, is going to be what we're going to have to rely on. Um. There's a couple of things missing in this game that are in Resident Evil that I'd really appreciate. Health bar and the ability to check files. Because I can't check, we can't check what we've previously, like, picked up. Because we've got items. That's about it. I'm wondering if those emergency boxes that we can use a plug on might already have... Uh, medical items in them, or whether they're em they start off empty, and then we have to um, put put um, supplies in there. So let's read this again. To prepare for the emergency. Ah, oh, wait. Yeah, be sure to check. Okay, so yeah, it is a weapon storage locker, but then where's the antenna? Oh, the antenna would be... Oh, I see what's going on here. So we need to use the DDK in that room to then get the antenna key. Is that how this is going to work? So we'll go back into that room that we were in where the T-Rex popped through the window. And eventually, we're just going to bleed out. Eventually, we're just going to bleed out. We'll see how we go. I don't know if bleeding stops over time. Okay. It's the antenna key in the chief's room. And is it related to those two card keys that we had? Oh. Where panel keys can be inserted. I was reading this wrong. I had the correct items... I had the correct items the whole time. I was reading this wrong. Which slot? Uh, I think the one on the right. Um, judging by how it looks. For some reason I was like, oh, this is another DDK thing. And my brain just accepted that as fact. Unfortunately. It's okay. We are now back here. The confusion of the dinosaurs, guys. It's, the, it's, it's dinosaur confusion. So it's excusable. Oh, I set them in the wrong ones. That's cool. Never mind. Mm -mm. Let's try again. Okay. 
Well, this one's definitely supposed to go into the, like, the left one. Yeah, this one goes in the right one. And this one in the left one. Okay, cool. Nice. There is a panel here that accepts a numeric code. We enter a number. Oh, is it the same code? Oh. Ooh. Uh, oh my god, it's a numeric keypad, so uh, one of them was Sol and the other one was Leo. What are the letters that are... okay. The letters correspond to numbers. I need to look up what an old school phone... Phone keypad, please. <laughs> Can I look at the phone keypad? Uh, great, let's have a look. Looking at images of a phone keypad. So... Uh, with it being Sol, it should be seven, six, five, and then the other one was Leo, so five, three, six. No! I was being so clever! Oh, maybe it's the other way around. Is it Leo and then Sol? I don't think so. Oh, I thought I was being smart. Hang on. Hmm. Maybe I'll try it the other way around. Five, three, six. So Leo first and then Sol. Seven. Oh shit, press the wrong one. Oh, we can backspace, cool. Uh that one, that one. Crap, I thought I was being smart. Damn it. You take back the keys. Oh my god. I guess we take back the keys because it wants us to look at them again. A medal and three symbols are carved into this panel. Oh. Oh. That's not soul. It's upside down. That's 705. Okay, hold on. That's 705. <laughs> and what's the what's the other one? Zero three seven. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, well I thought it was one, uh, and it was a less less obvious answer, so um this one's on the right. Which order do we have to because it's upside down, is it do we have to do zero three seven first, because it's upside down, and then Sol was seven oh five. Let's try, let's try, let's try it again. Um, okay. Panel key one, you go on the left. Panel key two, you can go on the right. Okay, we now have the numeric, numeric pad. Uh, so let's try this code first. We'll try it this way, 037705. All right, uh, then 705037. Nice, cool. So it was that way. So the first reason why we did 037705 first was because it was upside down. So I was like, if it's upside down, maybe it has to be entered in that way. But alas, it was, uh, it's much more simple than that. Cool. You got the key card L. Just needed to write down that code so I can remember it. The letter L is carved into the card. Wait. A key card that can unlock an electronic lock. So it's not for the antenna key. <laughs> it's not for the antenna key! What? Okay. Uh, crap. Oh, we gotta find... Key card L. Key card that can unlock an electronic... Damn. Uh, so I'm assuming that means um, there's a locked door. Oh, it might be the one that's outside. Oh, no, it's, that one's locked from the other side, so never mind. Um, 
We got options, we got doors, I don't know which one it actually is. It's always funny that the map says, here's your destination, but it's... We haven't been told the destination since we had to go speak to, uh, to Rick. But I think we're going, we're going back downstairs. So we're going back downstairs now. Back to the main entrance. Still bleeding? Yes, I am. So I'll probably still bleed, and then maybe I'll maybe I'll end up dying. Who knows? But at least we know what we need to do this time. <laughs> the puzzles are actually quite quite nice. They're actually pretty clever. Uh, now, what's this spot? Office hallway. Oh no! Hang on. This was already unlocked. Because this is this one. Okay. That was not a locked door. We do not have the entrance key, so it's obviously not going to be the entrance, but... I've unlocked the shutters near the entrance. One more thing. I just caught a glimpse of something on the monitor that looked human. It should be somewhere near the front of the training room. So, check there first. Oh. Um, I think we have to, yeah, we have to go through this door that we're currently at and then go into the training room. Okay. Um, I might take this opportunity to save because the save is right there. I mean, it's not, okay. Yeah. So that's, all right, that's where we got to go. Let's head back to the save room, because we've made a decent amount of progress. I will make a save in a new save slot, however. <laughs> Climb the ventilation. I'm happy to take the longer route if it avoids... If it, av if it avoids death <laughs> by a dinosaur. Uh, we'll try and hold on to that resuscitation as soon as possible. Which I wonder if we'll end up getting used just by running around because of the bleeding, but we'll see. I mean, I haven't died yet, so like, I think that is, I think that's pretty good that I haven't died in this game yet. Um, let me check this out. I can store supplies, but I need a plug. We'll use the plug. No. So it says we can store supplies in there. Not like there would be supplies in there for us, you know? Um, so let me do this. Management office, please. Sweet. Um, and with this one, guys, I'm going to bring the first episode of Dino Crisis uh, to a close. Thank you so much for watching. I'm I'm actually very very impressed. This is this is a lot of fun uh, right off the bat to to check this one out. Um, we are in bad shape. <laughs> we are in bad shape, uh, but we will see how we go. We need to use this large key to go to the training area to see something that resembles. Or looks like a human. Rick's very good on the cameras. He knows what he's looking at. Uh, so uh, enjoyed the first episode. Uh, it was uh, it was very good. Let me know uh, what you guys thought. If you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys are keen to see more, because I am definitely excited to uh, continue uh, with the playthrough. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.